Hey everyone, now that Milwaukee has come out with their 6 amp hour and their 12 amp hour high output batteries, I wanted to go through kind of the differences of all their battery form factors and how the performance changes in their tools as you use them with these different batteries. Uh, so I've got the Gen Tool Fuel 7 and a quarter inch circular saw I'm going to test these with, as well as the 3 in 1 uh, new Fuel Vacuum. So here's how all of Milwaukee's battery form factors stack up against each other. We've got the 2 amp hour Slim Pack with one row of cells each, the 5 amp hour XC Pack, the 6 amp hour High Output Pack, the 9 amp hour High Demand Pack, and the 12 amp hour High Output Pack. Uh, so the, 12, the 6 and the 12 amp hour are using 21700 cells, which are bigger, larger, but they can output more current than the 18650 cells the other batteries are using. Weight-wise, uh, you know, you are paying a little bit extra for getting more power with these three batteries in the 5 amp hour because they are quite a bit heavier. The 5 amp hour is right around 1 pound 10 ounces. The 6 amp hour and the 9 amp hour are both right around 2 pounds uh, 6 and a quarter ounces. Uh, they're almost the same weight actually. And then the 12 amp hour high demand, uh, high output battery is a pretty hefty 3 pounds, uh, right around 3 pounds 6 ounces. For the circular saw test, I used the Gen 2 Fuel M18 7 and a quarter inch circular saw. I ripped pressure treated 2x material uh, lengthwise an 8 foot section for each of these. I made several cuts beforehand with, with each battery, trying to push it and see how hard I could push each one before it stalled. And then the next cut I backed off just a little bit and ran it through uh, as fast as I could without stalling. So I was pushing the saw really hard with each of these batteries. The 6 amp hour and the 12 amp hour performed the best. They were both right just over nine seconds. And the six amp hour is technically a slight bit faster than the 12 amp hour, but I think that was just my variability and how hard I was pushing it. Uh, maybe I could have pushed this one a little bit harder. From what I could tell, the 12 amp hour doesn't bog down as easily. So whenever I would almost stall it out, I feel like it was harder to stall out the 12 amp hour. It's, it's quite possible Milwaukee designed it that way because it's got an extra set of cells that can output a little extra kick of current. I'm not sure if it was that or if it was just me feeling like it was, uh, but that's how I perceived it. The 9 amp hour and the 5 amp hour performed a little bit closer to each other. The 9 amp hour was 11 seconds and the 5 amp hour was 14 seconds. So all of these did pretty respectable, uh, ripping through that 2 by material. The 5 amp hour and the 9 amp hour though, I felt them about 5 minutes afterwards when the heat had had a chance to dissipate from the cells. And these 18650 cells get a lot hotter than the 21700 cells in the newer high output batteries. Even with the 9 amp hour, it wasn't quite as warm warm as the 5 amp hour was, but I could definitely feel them, them heating up and their warmth after I had finished those several rips on each of them. The setup I'm going to use for the static suction test is just a 5 gallon bucket full of water with a clear plastic 3 8 inch diameter tubing uh, going up almost to the ceiling. For the results of the static water lift test, the 5 amp hour battery on high got 69 inches of water lift, the 6 amp hour high output got 71 and a half inches of water lift, and the, both the 12 amp hour and the 9 amp hour batteries got 74 inches of water lift on high. Uh, surprisingly, if you leave the static suction on high for a while, they all actually drop down to 53 inches of water lift, which is also the same setting for all the batteries on low for the vacuum. So surprisingly, the answer to which batteries give you the most power uh, is it depends. The 12 amp hour is undoubtedly the most powerful battery uh, that we have here. Um, it is the clear winner, but when you're looking at the 6 amp hour versus the 9 amp hour, it depends on the tool you're using. Uh, the 6 amp hour in the circular saw outperform the 9 amp hour, and in the 3-in-1 vacuum, the 9 amp hour outperformed the 6 amp hour battery. Either way, I'm really glad Milwaukee came out with the new 6 amp hour batteries uh, because the 12 amp hour batteries are great on tools that you're not picking up and moving around uh, like a miter saw or the new table saw um, or even this, this backpack vacuum, you don't really notice the weight difference because this thing's close to 20 pounds with battery anyway. Uh, but when you're looking at something like a circular saw or a sawzall, you might want a lighter weight battery uh, and the 6 amp hour is a great option for delivering lots of power without really adding a huge extra amount of weight. 
So I'd love to hear in the comments section if you have tested these batteries on other tools that I have not uh, and see if there's a trend or if one of these is just a fluke. Uh, so let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below. And once again, don't forget to subscribe.